AZAM is back. We're talking water conservation this morning with the mobile classroom, and Ty is live with these kids out in Chandler where this is happening. Good morning, Ty. Good morning, Celestia. Yeah, we're at New Vistas. New Vistas Center for Education. I almost, I almost had it. Almost had it there, Carrie. This is so cool. And you are teaching kids all about water conservation and all about Earth Day because that's coming up. Yes. Uh, this is so interactive too, which I love. Yeah. You're with Footprint. Talk about the kind of the partnership, and you guys were able to get these individuals with this giant truck here to teach these kids. Yeah. So luckily, we uh, Footprint introduced us to uh, the Wyland Foundation, okay? So everyone in this is really into conservation and helping our earth. So when we met with the Wyland Foundation, we were like, this is a perfect opportunity for these kids. They bring the museum to us. The kids get to touch things and figure out what a wetland is and how water is so important to everything right now. Let's kind of walk through here, because this thing is like blowing my mind that we're yes. in the back of a trailer right now. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it, but it's a thousand square feet of all sorts of interactive experiment, experiments. Right. What is kind of the kids' reaction when they've been coming through today so far? Well, so far, today's or yesterday and today has been great. So we have all kinds of things where they learn how if a species dies off and what it does to our watersheds if they go through here and it's kind of like a Q and A to test your knowledge. Do we know what a watershed is? All right, let's let's is? try let's try a couple questions oh, here. That's a good one. Let's do vegetation. Okay, does vegetation increase the flow of water during its journey downstream? What do you think? Um, I would say no, because wouldn't it slow it down? Because it's there. Correct. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? All right, let's try. This is fun. Next one. Next one. Ooh, this is buildings. Fun. Okay. Are buildings considered a part of the watershed? What do you think? No. Oh, incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll come back to this. Okay, good. <laughs> After I lose one, I don't want to play anymore. No, that's great. But this then, one is great because it's actually a little history as well as science, so the kids will learn. This is uh, a river in Michigan, and as they use the mouse, let's start from the beginning here, they get to learn, like, as all these people came in to live in the, in, around this area, and as they grew in the Industrial Revolution and all kinds of things happen, what happens to our water, and it becomes contaminated, and we start to open it. This so. is cool, and this yeah. is my favorite one that we've been watching. The kids seem to gravitate to this one, too, because yes. they're getting wet over here with these uh, this experiment. Yes, for this one is we're kind of mimicking uh, Lake Lake Mead, and the turbines here are kind of like this is how we create energy as well. And then the river goes downstream, and then there's like little pictures here. So, for example, it would you know give energy to Las Vegas, which is great. And then they figure out if I shut it off, who does that affect? Gotcha. So we all live downstream from somebody. And this is very interactive, and the kids <laughs> yeah. seem to really love this. Talk about kind of what it means for you to have something like this, be able to kind of come into our own backyard to teach these kids. This has been great, lesson. especially during COVID. Um, the kids have been so sheltered and at home and just stuck on their computers. So we've been so thankful to be able to bring this out here, and the kids have been the museum to us. You know, field trips this year, so, you know, this is their field trip. Sure. And it's still learning with their yeah. hands and everything. Yeah. So it's so great. Now, okay, we've got about 30 seconds left, but you okay. said if um, maybe teachers are watching, educators are at home, they want to get involved, they can do that, right? Yes, absolutely. The WeilandFoundation.org. Totally love it. They're very, um, um, what do I want to say? They're just so great to work with. Sure. And they've been so responsive to us and got out here really quick for us. So. This is cool. I love yeah. this. And you can see the kids are really enjoying it, too, getting their, their hands uh, dirty, so to speak, out here, kind of learning all yeah. these cool stuff. We're going to put all the information about the foundation on our website. You can head on over to fox10phoenix.com. They're making their trip all the way from California to Florida, and they were lucky enough to stop right here in our own backyard here in Chandler. So this is awesome. Thanks for inviting That's us. That's so great. All right, we'll send it back to you guys. Isn't it cool? You're pretty smart too, Ty. Getting that question right. Next I'm time I'm on Jeopardy, I'm I want trying. you on my team. My phone a friend. Okay, yeah.